Okay, so um, if you watched my last video, I'm gonna go ahead and take off my watch because I'm about to wash my face. If you watched my last video, um, I was doing a really kind of toned down makeup look that was just kind of, you know, like your days off or whatever. And it, I don't even know if I'm posting these in order or not, I haven't decided yet. So there might be some continuity issues, but anyway, um, it's about, uh, I don't know what time is it? It's about 10 in the evening and I'm winding down. Um, I've been watching a little bit of YouTube, watching a little bit of TV and um, I wanted to maybe listen to something while I was doing this. This is the, this is something I bought on impulse. Let's be real. So this is the soap and glory um, puffy eye attack. Let's attack our puffy eyes. Puffy eye attack, super hydrating, under eye brightening, hydro gel patches. Let me, it also says with puff ease technology. Let me just put this out there. If a company is coming out with their own lexicon, if you will, or their own um, with puff ease trademark technology or hydrogel or uh, brightening TM, that little TM, be a little bit wary. Um, it doesn't mean it doesn't work. It just means that, let me, you know, ask yourself, have I ever heard of this before? Is this something that's popular? Is this something that he is well known? Um, or that has made headlines or something like that. Again, doesn't mean it doesn't work, but just put on your skeptical glasses, your skeptical spectacles, ah, um, and proceed with a little bit of caution or at least a little bit of grain of salt. Um, because that doesn't mean anything to anyone except the company. Um, and sometimes it's just a fancy way to sell something. Yeah, they trademarked it, but fancy. Anyway, clearly I felt this was very fancy. Hopefully it looks fancy. I can't see myself. Um, her eyebrows are on fleek. I think that's what people younger than me say. I'm 35, so I don't say that, but fancy eyebrows. So anyway, this has cucumber fruit juice extract, which cucumbers high are such a good hydrating thing for your body, for your face, for your eyes. Um, again, it's my one of my favorite brands, Soap and Glory. Everything they make smells so good. We're not in this for the smell. We're in this for the deep puffing and stuff and, and moisturizing. But um, so it's super hydrating. What I'm gonna do in a second is I'm gonna take all my makeup off. I'm gonna, you're gonna see my hat head. Woo! Put on a not super glamorous headband. Um, we're gonna put these under the eyes and I'm gonna watch Golden Girls for about a half hour. Drink some water, stay hydrated. My fancy goblet. Um, and then we take these off and you, apparently you just patch this in. So it says, well, it doesn't matter what it says. I'll read it in a minute. Um, it says 98% of users said the patches were a treat for tired, puffy eyes. Results from user trials on 60 women. So 60 women can't all be wrong. All right, so I'm gonna wash my face and put these on um, back on camera. See you in a minute. Okay, so the camera may have switched a little bit because I was definitely like playing on my phone <laughs> for like a second. Anyway, um, so we've taken off all the makeup. Um, I don't have anything on right now, as you can see by my super shiny nose. I've got some texture. So the weather's been crazy. Like it was super mild for a few days and then it was like, I know I shouldn't touch my face. Um, it was super mild for a few days and then it was super cold and then we had like a lot of snow. Let me just take a second to tell you how big a fan of snow I am. I get so geeked out about snow like I'm 10 years old and hoping for a snow day. Every, every flipping time. Every flipping time. I love snow. Okay, I know that's not a popular feeling but I love it. I love it so much. Okay, my face is like drying up like a, like this, the, like a drum or something. So we're gonna do two things. We're gonna do the, we're gonna do the under eye brightening hydrogel patches, but I also wanna do something that I have recently gotten at Target. It is the Bliss, um, and it is the Mighty Marshmallow Bright and Radiant Whipped Mask. This stuff, first of all, smells amazing. It's like a like sugared lemon 
It is a whipped, super light, delicate pink. It looks white on camera, but it's a light, delicate pink mask. Um, it feels, when you pick this up, it feels like there's nothing in here because it's so light and airy. Um, but I assure you, this stuff is magic. I love it. I've used it twice so far. So um, we're going to put on a thick layer. It says 10 to 15 minutes. Let's be real. I'm going to put it on for a half hour. So knock on wood that um, nothing happens. Anyway, um, I'm going to do a little bit of my liquid exfoliant. I've talked about this, um, I think, in my Get Ready for Bed With Me, but this is my Aveda liquid exfoliant, the salicylic acid. So I'm just going to put this on a cotton pad. You don't want to undo the moisture that you're going to do, right? So a little bit of this salicylic acid on, you know, on your cotton pad, take off all the extra oils and um, dead skin. This is more about dead skin. <laughs> I don't have any oil on my skin right now. Um, again, working inside out. Also, while we're doing this, do you like my picture back here? I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. I don't think I can get you guys closer. No, looks like no. Anyway, it's really cool. I don't want to mess with my camera right now, but um, if you want to see a close-up picture, just let me know. But it's something that I got from a friend. Um, I got it on, or I put it on my wish list from Society6, and I love it. It's kind of this lovely, lovely picture of a woman with sharks. Anyway, um, we're going to do the eye patches first. So how do we open this? Is there like a tear thing on here or what? Step one, be able to open the package. Okay, ensure skin is clean and dry before use. Check. Open the foil and remove the thin film. How do you... I know I'm an adult and I can figure this out. I'm just going to tear from the top. It doesn't say to tear here, but hopefully I don't tear the eye patch. I don't think I will. That didn't work. <laughs> um, the struggle is real tonight on this Sunday. Okay. All right, so it's got a little plastic tray. I think this is the right setup. Oh, okay, it's like sealed. Well, that's cool. So you're not gonna be dumping a lot of like liquid out on yourself. Okay, so open the foil and remove the thin film. It gets real wet. Okay, so it just like lifts off. Oh, okay, it's connected, got it. All right, place the gel patch in the under eye area. Remove the second thin film and gently pat down. Wait, there's two thin films? Allowing the jelly juice ew, um, to <laughs> infuse onto the skin and then leave on for 20 to 30 minutes. Then chill and relax. Well, I'm going to chill and relax for 20 to 30 minutes, not after, um, with some golden girls. Okay, let nine times out of 10, you've done a, an eye patch before. So I'm going to take this out. This is the first one. And it doesn't look like there's a left and a right. Like they're completely symmetrical. So we're just going to go for it. So I'm going to remove one side of film. One side is like translucent kind of thing. And then the other side looks like it's a little bit more like a sticker. So I'm going to take off the easier one, which is like the super thin one. I'm tr going to try anyway. Okay. So it says to put it on your skin. Is that what I read? Okay, yeah, and then you peel this off. No, no. Okay, there we go. Kind of like a Band-Aid. It's kind of like, kind of like doing a Band-Aid, I guess. Okay, so I'm not going to get this right under my lash line because any moisture that you put, or anything really that you put on, I'll just get a little closer, but anything you put near your eye, the heat from your eye is going to draw it in. So you don't want to, plus it's just going to be freaking uncomfortable. So um, you just don't want to do it real close. Okay, so we're going to do the second one. Getting this out of the packaging is kind of a pain in the butt. All right. So we're going to take off the thinner one first. Oh, I think I left it. Did I leave it in the package? Oh. <laughs> um, this one is missing its second little skin, so whatever. All right, so 
I don't know if there's a right side down or not. I'm going to guess not because the whole thing's just like soaked in this jelly juice. Oof. So, okay. So I'm patting it in. That one's not positioned as symmetrically, but all right. Oh, shit. Shoot. I meant shoot. Okay. There we go. All right. So we're on. And then we're going to be off to the races. It's going to be two to, that for anybody younger than like 25. That means we're just going to go. Um, leave on for 20 to 30 minutes. Chill and relax. I'm going to go stay. Oh, right. We're going to do a mask. Okay. So this Bliss Mighty Marshmallow Bright and Radiant Whipped Mask um, is... Like I said, I got it at Target. I'm going to look up to see if you can get it anywhere else. I'm not entirely sure. I do like that it comes with this little, you know, these little plastic things. It just keeps the product more fresh longer because um, sometimes the caps don't really cover the whole thing. So I'm going to go in with um, my Body Shop foundation brush. I actually really like, you can see it like there for size. I like this. I don't really use a brush for foundation like this. Um, but I do love it for masks because then you don't get it all over your fingers. Um, man, all those beauty gurus, don't they always have like the cutest headbands? I don't buy headbands because I don't want the person at the checkout thinking I'm like, you know, either buying this. I'm going to take out my nose ring. Um, either buying this for like my daughter that I don't have. All I have is a cat. <laughs> um... Or that, you know, I'm a 35-year-old woman buying, like, glittery cat ears. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I don't know. Maybe I need to get over that. You know what? If I found one that was, like, just black little glittery cat ears, I'd feel better than, like, pink or gold. I don't know. Or maybe not. Maybe I'd just feel dumb. I don't know. I need to get over it. Okay. So I'm just painting this on. It says a thick layer, so I'm not trying to make it too thin. Oh, it really does smell like lemon sugar. It smells so good. I honestly did this mask earlier today, but um, I want to do it again because it just makes my skin feel so good. It's hydrating. It's not oily. This mask does not get um, really cakey. It doesn't like it's not it's not pulling out oil um, or blemishes from your skin or like blackheads or whatever, but um, it just adds bounce and it makes your skin feel super hydrated and like marshmallowy, but not like the, not like the powdered sugar dry covered marshmallows, just like marshmallowy. Okay. So we've got this going. We've got this going. I'll be back in a half hour after some golden girls. Thank you for being a friend and, uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay. So it's been a half hour. And uh, we are ready to do, take all this off. So I am actually, I'll start on the outside. These didn't slip down, which sometimes I feel like, sometimes I feel like eye patches um, are a little too juicy, uh, too much stuff on them. But these are textured. I don't know if you can see. Probably not. I'm going to guess not. Anyway, these have like a little bit of like a webbed, texture which I think is what's helping keep them in place plus like I said they didn't have too much liquid on them sorry I'm just throwing those out um they don't have an overall cooling effect however I think just by virtue of having something damp underneath my eye and now being exposed to air it feels really cool um in this overhead lighting in my bathroom I do have puffiness which I mean, everything's topical, right? But uh, they feel like they feel kind of tacky. They feel like nice and hydrated. Which, if all I get is hydration, it's still a win. I don't know. I don't know if I feel like they're any brighter. I'm just gonna look in the mirror real quick. Um, you know, I still have wrinkles. I am 35. I've earned every single one. But um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, I still have my earrings in. Um. So I will say that they do feel really, I don't know about the puff ease technology. I'm not sure about that. I, it also is 1030 at night and I really should be in bed because tomorrow is work, but they do feel refreshed. 
So I would say that. Um, they do feel not quite as tired, even though I look a little puffy or mucho puffy. Um, but they feel hydrated and I'm, I'm all for that. So some ingredient call outs in this, uh, water is the first one, glycerin, which can come from anything from a coconut to synthetic for whatever reason. Um, locust bean. Okay. Um, carrageenan. Mm. Okay, carrageenan, uh, licorice root, I believe, please correct me if I'm wrong, I believe licorice is anti-inflammatory, so that may be for the puffiness. Um, cellulose, cell, cellulose gum, um, there's some other things I'm skipping, either because I can't say it or I don't know what it is, triglyceride, cucumber extract is pretty low on there, although it is in here. Um, titanium dioxide, it's interesting. Um, also, blue number one, that had zero color. So maybe it had a weird off color they were trying to um, offset. I love on this package it says this is not a food. Nothing about this says food. Like nothing. Anywho, I'm going to take the rest of my Marshmallow by Bliss, or my Marshmallow Brightening Mask by Bliss off, and I will be right back. Okay, so taking off the mask, um, yeah, I still have some breakouts. It's not for that, but oh, my face does not feel as tight. It feels hydrated. Um, I swear on my life, it feels bouncy. I don't know how else to describe it. That could be um, just, you know, a placebo effect, but like, it feels smooth, it feels hydrated, it doesn't feel oily, it rinses off really well. So when that mask dries, it dries almost like, at, it's almost like if frosting were starting to dry but it didn't get quite to that crusty phase, if you know what I mean. Um, like you could still touch it and it wouldn't really come off on your fingers, maybe like a little, little bitty flex, but it doesn't get tight, it's so comfortable on. Oh, my skin feels like butter. It feels like butter, it feels like butter. Um, so I'm going to follow up with my serum and my lotion and my, um, eye cream. I keep going back into that. I'm not used to having things like set out in front of me. Oh, and my, my mist, because I freaking love my mist. So, oh, again, Garnier Skin Active Soothing Facial Mist going in with my elf booster drops these are the brightening ones i don't remember how many drops the only thing i don't like about those booster drops is not about the performance or about the brightening effect of them it's about the packaging because once you throw out the box how do you know which one you have or how many drops to use or anything else. I mean, I love this packaging. It's like glass, but there's <laughs> on the bottom. It just says antioxidant. Did I not get the brightening one? Did I get the antioxidant one? I might be a ding dong and have gotten the antioxidant one because it says it. I don't think you can see this. I <laughs> it says it on here. I could have told you a lie. Well, Either way, there's no instructions. I wish it said it like on the packaging. I love things that Elf do, or that um, Elf put out. They have, a, you know, really stepped up their game in terms of skincare. I have used a bunch of their different skincare, which I'm gonna start incorporating more of that back in because it's such a good price point. The packaging is so beautiful, but what I care about most is how it feels on my skin, which is, combination to dry and a little bit on the sensitive side and sensitive just means that it gets really red and reacts to things um hence this business up here so i'm going to be doing my ultra repair cream um by first aid beauty because it is winter time and again just a pea size we're going for brightening we're going for hydration guys because everything feels dry Everything feels tight and we deserve to be hydrated. Oh, which reminds me, I left my water in the other room. Um, anyway, 
putting that in. It goes in so fast. And then ending with my Mario Badescu Hyaluronic Eye Cream. Um, again, I don't like that I have to go in here with my finger, but c'est la vie. This is, this is what keeps, this is what builds our immune system, guys. This is, this is it right here. Fortunately, my hands are clean. Always go into pots and things like that with clean hands. Because otherwise there's so many like bad, gross things that could be going into your product. You're going to put your fingers in it. At least make sure it's clean. And again, I'm sorry. My fingers do weird things. I'm going to try not to do that. It's so hard not to though. I know it's gross. Anyway, um, and that's it. So that is my brightening extravaganza. It feels good. You know what? It just feels good. So that's what I'm doing. I will list everything that I used down below in the description box. Um, if you have any questions about anything, let me know. And um, I will see you in my next video. Bye.